I talked about the list of advantages of carbonyl iron just a few days ago. All videos that we make can always be viewed on our Facebook page as well, and also on our YouTube channel. Um, today I'd like to give you a bit more insight about ferritin testing, iron testing, and their reference ranges. Ferritin is the storage form of iron in our bodies, and only a very small percentage of it is floating around in our blood. Low ferritin levels indicate an overall low iron status. The warehouse is practically empty. Many individuals do not have a clear understanding of what kind of levels to aim for, though. Uh, so the Mayo Clinic reference range, for example, is from 11 to 307 nanograms per mil in women. Uh, anybody dealing with iron deficiency anemia knows firsthand a ferritin level of 11 is no fun, even though this marks the beginning of the reference range. A low warehouse level is equivalent to low energy production. Many women and men today are being told by their physicians uh, that you're just fine with a ferritin level of around 30. To me, even though such a result is a bit further in reference range, uh, it's still way too low. Technically, a ferritin level of 30 is still in the low 10 percentile of the reference range. To allow for all metabolic pathways to work properly uh, that have an iron requirement, I think we have to aim higher than that. With any kind of lab test, we usually aim uh, for a test result within mid of the range. And that would be, in the, uh, in the example of the Mayo Clinic reference range, at around 150 nanograms per mil. And with that, I would agree. But, especially for women, it can be very hard to get anywhere close to such a ferritin level because of monthly blood loss during menstruation and uh, sometimes due to dietary preferences. All the more reason to use and choose the best possible iron supplement with the least possible range of side effects. And a more long-term plan of continuous supplementation to actually reach that goal and fill up the warehouse. Carbonyl iron, no doubt.